Was the Eminem diss your idea? No, that was that come from the mind of somebody who masterminded that. Okay. You know what I mean? That's hundred percent game. Nobody could take no credit for that. Right. The beat, the structure of it. Uh only other guy I would give credit is uh shit, Brian, our engineer. Right. But well, other than that, that's that's game. I mean, uh I was against it. It the, was the seven disc. minutes. It was seven minutes, the song. It ended up ten. <clears throat> Tell you how it ended up ten. Oh Lord. I come in the studio, they play it. I'm like, yo, that shit's seven minutes. Fuck you doing. Game says too long. I said, yeah, man, that shit's way too long. You tripping? Streaming? The fuck you mean? Hmm. And uh, he's like, all right, come back a couple hours. I fix it. So I came back in a couple hours. He played it. The seven minutes with the ten minutes. He said, you still think it's too long? I said, nah, it's perfect. Point proven. I shut the fuck up. So, um, but he proved me wrong because that song. I believe is like the number two streaming song on the album. So really, he was totally right. I was all the way wrong. Okay, about the song, I didn't think it was gonna stream. But do you support him creating static with Eminem? Do you think that'll ultimately be good for his career? Well, I'm gonna support anything that Game does. Right. Um, I don't have nothing against fucking Eminem. Uh-huh. He's, he's, you know, I grew up on Eminem. But whatever game does, I'm gonna support it. How strong do you think Game actually feels about the Eminem thing, though? You think he's just having fun with it, or you think he genuinely hates the guy? Uh, I don't think he hates him at all. I think he he had a point he wanted to get across, and I think that's what it is. I I can't tell you nobody that Game really hates. He has this list. Oh, really? Yeah, he says whenever the doctor tells him he has six months to live or something. He gonna go down the list. He's killing everybody on the list. He's Lyrically, talk, he's talking. No, no, physically. He's gonna murder. He uh, talks about. It. He has his list. I don't know what names on the list. He got a really? list. When you see him talk to him about real shit, really? Yeah, he tell you. He, like, kind of sounds like a crime. He uh, he don't give a fuck. Six months to live. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you could just have a list. It's hey, not no, like no, no, it, no nobody no. can prove that you're gonna kill those. No, people, no. Right? I don't know where the list is at. Okay. I don't know where he keeps it. I don't know if I'm on the fucking list. I would hope not. Yeah. But he has a list and he's been keeping and he lets it be known. If the, he, if the doctor ever tell him he got six months, a year to live, he's going to get to the list. Wow. You feel like the album was a success overall? No, definitely. Um, you got to remember, we got to work music different now. Or it's independent too. Well, not necessarily. We went through Virgin. Oh, okay. But. I thought it was independent. The traditional way of doing things is over with. Remember we would drop two, three singles before the album came out? Right. And then we would get that stream count for the first week. Uh huh. This is why Coyle Ray's numbers was low. Coyle Ray was gold first week. Right. Overall. Right. She did like 10,000 the first week, right? Because no more parties, those songs that had 100, 200, 300 million streams, she don't get the first week no more. She gets the overall. Right. So the first week numbers you're going to hear from a lot of people are going to be affected. The overall, like Easy's platinum already. Uh huh. Right? Because we're like 150 million streams or some shit. Right. We're like 80, 90 million on Spotify, you know, all throughout the plat- platforms. So it's a long game. So now instead of working it beforehand, you run into it, you drop it, and then you work it throughout. So you got like a 60 to 90 day time frame to drop your video. Notice the video came out a week after. Because everybody's first week sales are kind of trash lately. Because they no longer get the count. Right. From the previous singles they put out. Eminem did 44K first week. Bro, this is what I'm trying to tell you. Yeah. Now, and if he's, he, he usually sells insanely well. No, this is what I'm telling you. It's, it's a different game. It's the long game. It's not the... You, you play for your over. If you're going to drop a single or two previously, that's for your overall count mm-hmm. towards your recoup. But before, you like, Cash Money was in tours for it. Album didn't come out until at least three singles got worked. Right. Now, if those three singles did a, a total combined of a, a billion streams, a seven, eight hundred million streams, the one shit for them, right. for three different singles, right? When that first week dropped, they got the credit. I don't give a fuck if those songs came out six months prior. They got the credit to those streams for the first week count. Right. Now, that's over with. You're only going to get a hard seven days. You'll get the credit for those three songs for your overall count. Right. So the game has changed. Definitely. Totally so, different. so having the conversation of oh, so and so sold this much in 2018 versus this much in 2022, 
it's apples and oranges because there was you were able to do the merch bundles. Holla at me. Yeah, merch bundles. All is that gone. shit. DJ Khaled. A lot of cats do, didn't know. Niggas was right. getting album counts off a t shirt. DJ Khaled was getting album sales. Game ain't off never of did no shit drinks. like that. You could they, they're like encouraging you to order like a crate of energy drinks and it would all count as album sales. Fuck encourage you to order your crate. Not to say Khaled did it. It's my brother. Shout out to Kool Aid. Shout out to Khaled. But there was some, but some tricky let, things. Let's going just on. say you got an artist. The label will order a truckload of fucking energy drinks. Travis Scott had Kylie Jenner doing some shit with her her merch or her makeup or some shit where like her makeup counted as a fucking yeah, total album different sale. Game. Total different game. So yeah. total, you got to look at ninety days, then go <laughs> see what that album did. Right. Then you'll know if the shit's a flop or not. It's a totally different game. All right, people, we just hit 300,000 subscribers. You know we're trying to hit 400,000 subscribers. So that little red button, tap it, tap in. Appreciate y'all.